Hello, everyone. This is Gregory Kasimis from the Metro Deli in Scar. It's live. What up? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Roommate Rivalry. Kevin Walsh, James Celeberti, a.k.a. Petey. Thank you. He hasn't been here a while, so he, you got to give, the, gov ghost, you, you, you gotta give the government sometimes. Joe, and as always, in the studio. Um, so, so, some good things to talk about. NFL, as always. We're going to start off with a little baseball here. We're going to have the game loaded up it's in live. studio as the Yankees right now are hosting the Houston Astros in the wild card you game. refresh your page right there. No, realistically, I'm not getting it. It's not, it's not loading over here. We're not working. We're going to figure it out. Uh, I'll do that as I throw it over to you guys, though. Um, Petey, your, your unbiased remarks will come first as we talk about the Yankees. Um, no, if it was Mets, then, then that would have been uh, satirical. But seriously, uh, Yanks, Astros, Dallas Keuchel, Mashiro Tanaka, can you stop playing with your keys? I'm thinking. Take, put, put your put keys, your keys down. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> you That's all That's all. Makes a lot of noise. What do you just just talk talk to me about the game and what you're thinking about the Yankees? <laughs> the Yankees just said the, the, the game that's on in like a few minutes. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. All right. It's whatever. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna. I don't. I'm not gonna root for the Yankees, but I'm not gonna root for them to lose. What do you, you think's know? gonna happen though? You I think they're gonna win. As an expert, to be honest, I think they're gonna win. Okay, that's all we needed. I think they're gonna win. <laughs> who's who's coming in the clutch? Pete, I'm, I'm gonna. Wait, who's coming to clutch? Like, who's the guy you think? Who's the MVP? Expand, though, maybe. Maybe tell me why they'll win. Alex Rodriguez. Really? The struggling A-Rod. Yeah. yeah. The veteran. Pete, you are a man of few words, evidently. Well, I want to ask Walsh a question. This is what you asked for. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a Dallas? I mean, look, in all honesty, I, I just felt I that if we do. played... If we played Mike Trout, I think you guys would have won. I think that I think that Trout honestly actually might might have been special in New York, and I, I personally was a little more fearful of playing Cole Hamels, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, true, hundred percent. So rather, if I was in your place, I'd rather play the Angels. I, I understand that due to the fact that they don't have as good a pitcher as Keuchel, AL Cy Young winner, who well, future. Um, but but if I, I just he hasn't been as great off the road. 20 wins on the season, 15 to 0 at home. So when you when you really think about the splits, obviously a much better chance yeah, who, to touch him at who's home. Who's the Angels' best pitcher? Probably Garrett Richards. Or, yeah, no, listen, I'm I'm aware of that, but when you just think about the fact that you have to play the best hitter in all of baseball, the best player in all of baseball, in Mike Trout, who last year struggled in the playoffs, you, you know you tell him, hey, look, you got you got to do it one game, one game here. I I think he might Wait, step you, up. You rather verse Keuchel. Instead of wait, Angels. you don't trust these these young kids that way. The wait, first playoff. Wait, experience? really? Like you rather versus him? I feel like I feel like I I rather verse because he made a good point. I mean, Keigel, he's a pitcher, so you know what I'm saying he's gonna be. He dominates. Yeah, like he's no. I understand like, that. I don't trust sometimes... just one person, but obviously he could go yeah, off. Cool but it's holes. one. Yeah, I was no, no. Really, the Yankees hitting isn't what it used to be like. You know what I'm trying to say? In regards to what they were doing at one point in the season, though, you mean like when when Luke Garrick and Babe Ruth were swinging bats? Nah, I could be like in their prime. Like, what do you mean in their prime? We have twenty-seven World Series. When's the prime? The twenty-seven Yankees. No, like the '09 Yankees. Like that that was a good lineup. You know what I'm trying to say? So obviously, obviously, if I would rather, I'd rather go up against a Mike Trout who plays center field than a Dallas Keuchel who's the Cy Young winner. Right, but all right. So, they're, they're, but they're, they're, it's it's more than just Mike Trout versus Dallas Keuchel too. There's a lot of things you have to understand with that. So, in in retrospect, when I said that statement, fully aware of, if we're playing the Angels, that means that the Angels are one of the hotter teams in all of baseball. They had to go on a winning streak. That's yeah, what that's they true. did, and they almost got there. They almost got there. They were a, a win away from being in this game. They didn't win that game though. So that means that they would they would have been really hot, a lot of momentum. You saw the Yankees look come down the, the stretch of the season. It looks horrible. They look horrible. Just going to put it out there, the 2,000 Yankees lost their last 15 out of 18 games. Really? They did go on to uh, beat... Nice who was that? Who did they beat in the World Series, Pete? The Metropolitan. And how many games? <laughs> Four. Oh, five. <laughs> um, so, so and, and, and the Astros is just right now, like, they're struggling just as much, if not more, than... What the Yankees are, in all honesty. So, for that reasoning, I understand that come uh, playoff time, that pitching is is more prized and it's more valuable. But yeah, but that's I mean that's the thing too. You can't has Keuchel ever pitched in the playoffs? Like, like Kershaw, that's, Domin that's the thing. Keuchel's never pitched in the playoffs, so you can't you can't guarantee Wait, it. 
Last year was Kershaw's first. No, second. But the second I, time I, I was choking. Wa- I was no, but the first time did he? Sorry, but no, the no. first time he didn't. No, did he, he, no, he choked. He choked too, right? Choked both times. Yeah, so that, that's a great pitcher that pitched amazing no, last year in the season. So you don't know how. Oh, look, they're coming out. There we go. <laughs> no, I was. I was watching. He was always gonna pitch. I was watching the herd today, and he was explaining like the Kershaw, <laughs> <laughs> the Kershaw thing <laughs> <laughs> from last year. It's basically he had a bad inning. Uh, they, that's why he's trying to say he didn't really choke. He had a bad inning. Yeah, but I know he bad inning co- course, You know what I'm saying? Like, can't have bad innings in the playoffs. No, I'm, saying, I'm just saying like he dominated Thank the rest you. of them. Thank you. No, I know, but I I do understand what you're saying in, in that regard too. It, it's just like you know, it even it even comes to the Mets where where so like what, every, what has every, the Grom done in the postseason? Every every Met fan is, is, is yeah, but he's not good. But he's not bad. Yeah, Kershaw's better. He's not good, he's <laughs> what? The Grom's not good in the playoffs. But he's not bad. Never been there before. So you don't know. That's the whole. But that's, he, the, that's the point. Yeah, Kershaw's been there. He's not good. Who would you rather have in the postseason, Degrom or Kershaw? Hey, after uh, no, no, no. I, pick right now. You could, Degrom. Really? Yeah, because Over he hope? could be. He could be awesome. Kershaw. You don't know. <laughs> but you don't know. You really think that Kershaw's going to continue to be bad? Uh, the future is based on. He the can pass. only go up, right? He's literally he one. Go down. He's top five pitchers of our generation. There's a lot of good pitchers. Okay. I, this is the thing too, um, I, and this is a reason I think honestly, if if we want, I think maybe we can dive into baseball because we we really don't we haven't touched on it a, uh, a lot here. I, I think that the Dodgers are going to make a big run this year. Yep. Um, Clayton Kershaw had a game up against Madison Bumgarner, the man who constantly shows him up, who says, "Hey, listen, I don't care how many times you strike people, I win an MVP or a Cy Young." Watch this and carry the Giants to a World Series victory. Now, True. he goes up, faces him in the game where if Kershaw wins, they clinch. He goes out, complete game. I think it was a, a one-hitter. I think he pitched a complete game one-hitter. That's a statement there. And I think it shows in all honesty that I think Kershaw wow. is going to be the dominant one. If one of them gets hit, it'd be Granky. But granky has got a, an ERA under two for the entire season. Yeah, but I, So I don't see that happening either. Yeah, but, I, I, I think mean, I think if the Mets are gonna hit someone, I think it's gonna be Kershaw. I don't think it's gonna be Cranky. It's not gonna be either of them. Yeah, but yo, all right. The I first the first year he pitched in the playoffs, Kershaw, he he didn't do good, right? Correct. Okay, so you're thinking, all right, the second year he, he didn't do good either. I mean, he like don't you think like it can repeat itself? History, it's but, possible, but, but, but also, I think he's but also learn. I think can it change? The first batter's up just like now, but um, Jose Altuve can it change? Hundred yeah. percent. Hundred percent. So, so but he's but, on don't, a but, don't, team. but don't you think mentally too, Kershaw's gonna be like, all right, I I been like the past two years, I have not. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, right? It's, it's in his head, so I, I feel like I don't know. But did you? I'm not sure if you. Because honestly, I'm, I don't. I don't were think Were you paying attention to what I just said or no? Yeah. It could change. What'd no, no, I was not saying that to be like about about him when he pit, when he pinched against Bumgarner. No, I understand that, but was that a playoff game? But it had the implications of. Playoffs. But it wasn't a playoff game. But it, no, but it's a big moment. Just it's, like, a, it was like, it's a big career-defining moment. Wait, was it the last game of their season? I don't really... It, 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 it basically, though, made the rest of the games not important because that right there clinched them the division. It locked up their spot. Yeah, but nah, but... Yeah, but I feel like that's still totally different. different. Yeah, I feel it's, like that's a different no, no, no. situation. Is it as big as a playoff game? Yeah, no. Because right, right, like like even, even, even if he doesn't lock the spot up, they have more games to well, lock up. I understand that. But that adds to the case, though. But he wasn't going to leave... Bro, he pitched a complete game one header. Okay, so he wasn't going to... He pitched a great game. He wasn't leaving it up to that. That's still the regular season. I understand that, but we've seen quarterbacks change how they've played. Like no, he, of course he can change. So but, it, it can happen for a pitch. But that's what I'm, I'm trying. It's not like I just I just wouldn't be 100 percent confident in him. No, that's what I'm trying to I'm say. I wouldn't say, be 100 percent confident. If I had to pick a pitcher for the postseason right now, I mean, I'd probably pick either Arietta or him. I mean, I'd have to pick, I'd Jake pick Arietta. Cole Hamels. No, what? On, Why? Man. What was the last time he was in the postseason? <laughs> That's right. They won, right? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh wait, did wait did, no, did he pitch against the last time he was really good? Then he's really good now. He did throw a, a no hitter this year. Taking Clamos against who? Yeah, Matt Scherzer threw two. The Cubs, oh. I think. Yeah, it was the Cubs. No hit the Cubs. Max Scherzer threw two, and both of them were because of an error. That's why they weren't perfect games. No, that's not true. Well, no, the one of them. The one of them was I could swear. No, he was. hit. He hit batters in both of them. The, against the Pirates, he hit. No, batters. no, this this re- recent one they said. No, the recent one he just yeah, he hit. You know, I, I, I thought he hit Matt Harvey. No, no. I saw that in the box score. No, I said no. I, I actually saw no. It he, he had no walks. It was, it was an error. Yeah, it was an error by Escobar or whatever. I saw that Escobar had the error, but I also saw something. Nah, whatever. That said, I'm just, I'm just gonna look it up just to see. But I saw something that said that he hit Matt Harvey, which is I don't know. I, I, I mean, just thought it was an error. Who cares Harvey? I don't know. Har- who cares about Harvey? 
Okay, so then let's when it comes to the Yankees. Let's all right. So no, quickly, I'm not, I'm not trading for Harvey. I don't think we necessarily. You're gonna sign him. What? No, yeah, we might sign him. He wants to be in three years. Still, no. You know how much money he's gonna want? Shoot, imagine. You're right. We're getting Harper. We're getting Harper. That's what. That's what. I'd rather Harper. Harper's nice. Harper doesn't care about the Mets. We don't care about Harper. <laughs> hey, dude. Wait, what? What was the question? Matt Harvey does not care about the Mets. I oh, said Matt Harvey. You, you said, said Harper. Harper. I, oh, I thought it meant Harvey. Uh, oh, I was going to say. We, we don't care no, yeah, I mean, he, cares, he, he missed the practice they had to go to for the yeah. postseason. I don't know what to tell you. He had bigger and better things to do, right, Pete? Yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> 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 That's his only job. <laughs> Maybe he had he family ties or something. He had to go somewhere. What? They said he skipped. He no, he, he went at the point. He's like, I have no excuse. Look, I'm trying to help you out, but <laughs> no, because I'm trying to make it look better for no, your organization. It, yeah, because it's annoying. Cause like, let's be real, the Mets are trying to build something special this year. Trying yeah, to, like, trying to get a good team like in the future. And you know what? Good and hitter. Harvey was supposed to be a, a really big part in the future of the Mets, and now he just doesn't want to do it anymore. And because oh, okay. I, I think it has to do with his agent too. I think his Wait, agent wants to get the most money. Do or anymore. Like he doesn't want to be part of the Mets anymore. But why? Just because he skipped he, that. He one wants thing? to get his money. That's what it is. Yeah, he wants his money. But like, uh, no, I'm just saying. Like, is there more things that he didn't that you know? what I'm saying like, was it just because he skipped and then that's it? <sighs> no, he you know, just this whole situation the, with the inning limit the too. Inning limit. Like, like I, he's been saying stuff like that though. I don't know if it's necessarily to do with the money because I don't know if I could name a worse possible way to try to earn money than refusing to pitch in yeah. big games and not showing up to playoff practices. I, I, I'm i not saying there's something going on with his personal life, but I just think that there's something going on with Harvey. Like, I think I, I truly think that right now, the Dark Knight, the man who never folds under pressure, who's yet to pitch a postseason game. Like This year I had an argument with David Giacomino about David. about how Matt Harvey's not a top ten pitcher because he hasn't proven. He's not him the yet. best pitcher on the team. And and I told him and I and I told <laughs> fact and I told him well, I mentioned that Dallas Keuchel and Sonny Gray are better than him, which as of right now they are better than him. And he goes, well, who would you rather in the postseason? Oh, I don't know. They, neither of them pitched. <laughs> how do I know? Is Matt Harvey gonna pitch six innings or what? Like, Five. It, it's rid- the, Matt Harvey is supposed <laughs> to be this third. unbreakable guy. I think he's breaking. I truly think that he's breaking. Yeah, I, I can't say you're wrong. I'm not going to speculate because, one, I can't do that on air. I can do that off air on what he was doing last night. or You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure that, <laughs> that's up to any viewer to think themselves. But I necessarily don't feel that Matt Harvey simply set the alarm for 11 and it, and it just went off at 12. I'm not buying that. <laughs> no, no. I mean, no, I know. Sell that it. stock to someone else. Stuff happens. Yes, stuff does happen. I understand. That's your strikeouts. Yeah, well, because honestly, we should be there right now. Yeah. You told me about a review. We did. did. And we got that was a five we, minutes long. And we got our assignments. It was a, it was a test review. It's <sighs> upsetting. This actually was of all the classes most important. Well, thank you. It really was. Nah, that's fair. Study studies before Yankees playoffs, I guess. But we're watching it right here. That's There's true. nothing better in the studio. Um, so let, let's talk. Let's talk about the Mets. So, so I mean, even though we just kind of were, um, oh, Mets or Dodgers. Who do you guys got in the series? I'm going with the Mets. Really? Yep. Don't make me ask you why. You're not Petey. Explain to me. <laughs> I feel like he could put up an arm. I think, well, I think the bats have been coming along for the Mets. And uh, I think the pitching's going to remain the same. Like, I, I think they will still be dominant. Like, even though we're saying, all right, Harvey might not play great in the playoffs or something like he's mm-hmm. long, I, I think the Mets are going to do it they haven't been to the postseason since, since what 2007 so it was, it was 2006 six. 2007 yeah, it's been nine years the fans have been waiting for it it's going to be okay. Wayne what Wayne uh, what Wainwright um, was the uh, guy who came in as a closer and struck out Beltron. Oh, yeah. And he's yeah, been, yeah, yeah. like, doing relief duty now. I don't know. So I all feel the Mets fans think uh, that he's going to come and strike out Cespedes. I don't know. I, don't, I feel like the Dodgers aren't really when that, I think I would laugh so hard <laughs> I'm I'm going with obviously the New York Metropolitans. Because if I think if the Mets could squeeze out one one of these two wins in LA. Yeah, if they could beat one. Can I, I think one, no, against the pitch, but against Wait, let, let Kershaw or Granky that you yeah, saying, right? If, if, yeah, if, no, if, I'm just if trying they could beat clarify. one of them. Yeah, exactly. Come back home. 100%. Mm-hmm. With, I agree with that. Uh, who is it? Harvey and. Matt's clone. Yeah, well, Wait, probably who's probably the Matt's? first two? Syndergaard and the Grom one, Syndergaard two. I don't get why Syndergaard's. I have. I don't know who the. <clears throat> Look, if we if we could win one, mm-hmm. game three, come back. I don't even know who the Dodgers' third pitcher is, but I like whoever they have against Harvey. Is it later? At home. 
Oh, uh, no, Leto's actually serious? got cut. It's Alex Wood. Why? Yeah, cut. It's, what? Al- yeah, it's Alex Why? Wood. What? You like that no, he picture likes, you don't know? He likes, the, he likes Harvey, he said. Oh, no. I have, I have oh, a question. He said he like, I said I like, I like Harvey. Oh, over. Yeah, person. over whoever is. Oh, 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 I thought it was Whoever, the, whoever oh. their third pitcher is. Okay. Wait, so, hey, wait. At home. Just, sorry, but is he going to pitch more than five innings? Like, is he now? I, I, think, I, think, he, I believe I he's allowed he to go. He's That's what I'm saying, yeah. Okay. Which is so, that just doesn't make sense. Right then there, 2-1. Say, hypothetical, if they do go up 2-1, going in, you know, I... Wait, do you think that because the... Well, the month or something this last month he's been only pitching what five innings five you, to, no more than I think yeah, no do you think six. do you think six. like if he does go over six or something he's not like you don't try to say like oh, they, say, they put a cap you don't try to say the doctor think it's put gonna, a like, cap on it I'll, I'll say, no but because he's been pitching five in all honesty these, this last month you don't try to say like yeah, no, if he goes over five will he still be oh, dominant yeah. like, I think it's a big problem yeah, in all honesty like, he's not used to it I've I'm sorry, but I've never heard a pitcher get more excuses in my life. Matt Harvey gets an extra day of rest, and Danny got to give him a little credit. Shout out, shout out to Danny Guns. Um, shout out to. <laughs> um, so Harvey gets an extra day of rest. Okay, well they'll do a skip a start to, to rest up Harvey, <clears throat> and that is the reasoning while he'll have a bad outing. I, I don't understand that at all. So, so now that Harvey's being limited, if Harvey comes and blows it, it's literally in two seconds you'll see in all the tablets, oh, it's their fault for not pitching him enough, and it's all this crap. It's crap. And that, and that is what I could see happening again. But this is the thing I, I want to ask both of you since you agreed with him. I've heard this hey. from no, no, him and uh, oh. Joe, Joe and Petey. I've heard this from literally every Met fan so far that I've spoke to about the situation. The constant has, phrase... Wait, wait so has Tom said is Tom part of these? Oh, actually, I didn't speak to Tom about the right. Mets, come to, which is odd, because normally you would think you would. Also, I had to tell him about a Rutgers kid, too. Um, or you. It's big. Um, everyone keeps saying, if they can beat one of the two, they'll win the series. Great. If they can, I think they probably would win the series. No one, will, no one is telling me who they're beating, why they're beating them, how they're beating uh, That information needs to be provided to me, because I truthfully don't understand how it's being banked on the Mets are going to beat two, one out of the top three pitchers in all of baseball. Anything is possible. Why not us? Okay. You're the Mets. All right, so, <laughs> and so it's it's literally just the right, gut Kurt, feeling. Kurt, or is it is Kershaw, okay. Kershaw's not going to do good? His, the thing is, like, I actually think he's going to do good, but I feel like the Mets are just going to pull one out. I, I so they're going to beat one of the two pitchers. I just feel like they they are like yeah. I don't. I can't really say like why. Like I I mean maybe because they get more runs in them. But <laughs> I, I actually just think so. I actually just <laughs> that could help. That would help. I mean that's why I, said that that's why I said it like that. But okay, sign this kid up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, code. <laughs> I just I just have a feeling the Mets are going to get one of them. So I I honestly think that Kershaw is still going to struggle. I th- I think I mean, he that, will. That does help to like the situation too. <laughs> I'd love to hear your your uh, opinion. Logical. <laughs> yeah, but you can't say that's wrong. You can't say anything wrong, wrong until it happens. No, but no, you. I can't. mean, I can tell you that. No, that, no, that based off right, like how Kershaw pitches, wrong. you can't say that's wrong. This is wrong right now. No matter Thomas Thomas was uh, the best receiver in football last year. Top five. Um, you said no, that, no, you, you said, said the, best. the best. You okay. said the best. Don't what, even. What is go. wrong? That is the cool. Miami Dolphins win the Super Bowl. That is a flat out wrong statement. Who cares? That's a wrong statement. Why did he have to say that? Like, see, he's the most critical. Like, Look, I'm not turning seen. this segment into why is PD not a Dolphin fan. Thank you. And I want to hear what you have to say about the Mets Dodgers series. Uh, I think Kershaw is going to dominate. Thank you. Granky will dominate. Fact. And they will win in five. I said four. I think they'll win game four in City. I, I don't know why I bothered to cut. See, Sorry, go ahead. See, but how he <laughs> says like Kershaw is going to dominate. Mm-hmm. I think there's better backup to what PD said that Kershaw won't. I think there's better backup that he has. Two Cy Youngs, three. But, but the last two <laughs> postseasons, he didn't. He did not do anything. What? I'm. Not, I'm just saying though. I feel like there's more backup to that. Year in and year out, your current favorite player in the NFL, mm-hmm. the player who I believe is the best quarterback of all time, the player who some believe isn't, and the Joe reason Janus? and and the reason why yes. Peyton yeah. Manning number two is this not is viewed <laughs> as the best quarterback of all time is because say he's not clutch. Say he can't win the big game. He's got one Super Bowl, lost in the one in, Super Bowl, lost in two. Lost in two Super Bowls. You said he won a Super Bowl. Okay. Thank you. Okay. He, he won a Super but Bowl. But before he won that Super Bowl, but when he continued to lose, yeah, he, when he showed that in, in clutch moments, he's not he's not money to get the job done. 
People continuously say he's way too good okay. to do that again. Kershaw is Peyton Manning. No. Yeah. Mm. No, he's not. Okay, he well, he's not, he's not going to be the best pitcher. He didn't not win. yet. He didn't win. Not but, yet. Okay, it's different than football. Okay, if P- Peyton keeps going to the playoffs, he has more chances to either win or to lose. The two times that Kershaw has went to the playoffs... He mm-hmm. didn't win. True. But, That's but, what I'm but trying to say, though. But he has more no, chances. No, but to now get that he's mad, more accustomed what I'm, to it. Uh, yes, correct. But what I'm trying to say is um, there's more backing to, okay, Kershaw can maybe uh, be a bust in the playoffs again because of his history. But obviously he, he cannot, but I'm saying there's more backing to that. I don't know if the, I would say that there's more backing to it for the for the reason I think. Well, because why do you think he's gonna dominate? Like because I understand of how good he is. The, here, so let me see if, if let me. But see he if, hasn't though. Let me That's let me a, let me see if this makes sense. I really okay? agree. I think this is a pay main. No, in, in all honesty, right? It's not. Andy not Dalton is not that great of a quarterback. He's a he's an average on this year and above. It's it. different. Let me please just it's let me different. finish. Please just let me finish. It's different. That's please, totally different. It's please different. Please let me please just please just explain. Explain. You can't tell me that it's different when you don't know what I'm saying. It is different. It is different. No. I'm not done saying what I'm saying. But, he just said any Dalton and you guys said no because it, it's a different first of all it's a different sport. And a pitcher oh, a pitcher controls the Quarterback does it. No, but, but, but let me know what was happening on third and three when, when his team's on defense. What is he doing? Nothing. What, what about in the American League? We can't. They hit. put the game away before it gets to that point. No, yo, the the, come on, Walsh. The pitcher has a lot more control. Oh my God, they're, they're it's so an individual, similar. It's an individual thing. The a quarterback has a running back, has receivers that can help him out. It's him pitching. It it's, it's him pitching. If he's, he's a shortstop well, outfielder. Yeah, but if he's, giving up, hits, if he's he's giving up the hits, if he's giving up hits, every single players. perfect game and no hitter, is there's there is a play that will drop your jaw that a defender made to save a home run, to save right. a base hit. He has right. defenders back then that still have to field the ball. But if Max he's Scherzer walking pitchers, had a perfect game, and then you know Escobar had an error. Can I maybe just make it's my a different point? Sport. It's a different. You can't compare that though. Okay. We can't compare sports now. No, you can't. You can it is. That. It's more yes, dominant for a pitcher. But but it's but it's not out of. The, they're not so different that you can't compare the two. I mean, if you would have gave another pitcher that came out losing his first two postseasons and then coming back, you'd be like, oh, what about this pitcher? You know what I'm trying to say? But I'm comparing it to a point where you where I know that you can relate, and that's what I'm trying well, to that's do. What I can relate, and to. you're not. I mean, a quarterback. I don't know. I think. It may, I mean, for me personally, I think it makes a lot of sense. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it truly, it genuinely seems like a waste of time because I can't even make my point without being cut off. Right, so what was the Andy Dalton thing? I don't even know what you're saying about this. He's going to say Cause that he, he hasn't done, he has won one yet? No, Andy, that he gets to the playoffs, but he hasn't won. That's what he's going to say. What, okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Andy Dalton, yeah. who is an average to, on this season, an above average quarterback, continues to get there, but that year, he, he, he never gets it done in the playoffs. And no one is ever going to have faith in Andy Dalton because he is nowhere near the skill level that Peyton Manning is. So even if Peyton Manning will choke in big games or he won't win the big game, Peyton Manning is still that good to where people will say, Peyton Manning can get the job done. You do it constantly, and I respect that you do that because Peyton Manning is, to me, the greatest player to ever play that position. So, Clayton Kershaw, although he has yet to do it in the small sample size of two postseasons, he's going to be there plenty more times, has yet to do it. It is just as easy to say he's going to get it done as it is to say he's not going to get it done. I'm not saying you're wrong by saying that he won't get it done, but what I was simply asking was, who is going to blow the game? And I'm not saying that that is completely wrong, but but it feels like it, it's made to be obscene that I'm saying the best pitcher in baseball is going to do well in the playoffs. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it. I, I agree. He, he he he's he's a great pitcher. He could do well. But I, all I'm just saying is because of the past history, uh, I just think his history in the postseason can maybe repeat itself. And I'm just saying it's more backing to saying oh Kershaw can mess up. That's that's all I'm saying. I get it. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not okay, like we're okay. arguing Let, two no, different but, things. No, but last year, life. last year, right? Kershaw, did he, what, what did he win last year in the regular season? Like what? MVP and so Okay. And he went 21 and, and 3. And, 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 right and what did he do in the postseason? He didn't produce the MVP and Cy Young like, mm-hmm. like they should. Right. Yes. So if he's putting the same numbers, say he's putting the same numbers up this year, mm-hmm. wouldn't you say, wouldn't you be like, you wouldn't be as confident because. 
he won the MVP in Cy Young the year before, and you don't try to say this. Right, but but and the reason why I was using Peyton Manning does because, repeat itself because Peyton because Peyton's won numerous MVPs before he won that. That's Super all I'm Bowl. saying though. I, I think Kershaw can go off, but I'm just saying there's more, I think there's more backing saying okay maybe Kershaw might not go off. But I, there's there's a, there's I don't there's I wouldn't say that, that it's it's you guys are arguing more, two different things. Right? That's what I was trying oh, to say. Honestly, though, I think that there's there's only one more game baseball wise I want to talk about. Then we're gonna take a quick break and move it to football. Um, and we're gonna do this real quick. The Pirates are hosting the Cubs in the other wild card game, and Cubs. I just think that it would it would be quick to it's gonna be Arietta against Garrett Cole. Cubs. Arietta. Pirates. Cubs. Why? Home field advantage. Game. Yeah, you think they can touch Arietta? Huge, huge in baseball. Huge. It in is. Baseball. No, no. Honestly, I've been no, saying that oh. the Pirates could. Go ahead. No, Dude, I said, you know, I just looked up the MLB postseason. You know the World Series is 2-3-2. Two, two. So what, what's the home point of home field advantage? That's so dumb. It's is two, it really? Yeah. Uh, let's lose every <laughs> um, All-Star game now. Well, cool. Two, I, 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 I genuinely yeah. feel like 2-3-2 two, two, two favors the team that has the three in a row. Yeah, That's yeah, how I, I felt in the NBA. If you one of those games on the road, the first two Man, games, I'll, I'll recheck it right now. But like, I, I was looking I at it for the Yankees schedule. What? I think you're right. Like that's how it is. Because yeah. I know basketball changed finally. Like Smart was it like moves. two years ago? Wait, wasn't yeah. it two two one one one? Like you know what I'm saying? Like in baseball, in basketball? Yeah, but baseball too. I thought that's how hockey's it was. like that. Two two one yeah. one one. Yeah, that's, that's how it should. That, that, that's how it's that, definitely that's supposed fair. to. Be. I, I like that. Yeah, that's definitely the way that it should be formatted. Oh, what he just strike out of here? Right um, I'm gonna also go Cubs on that. We're gonna just take a quick break. I'm only one going Pirates. Yeah, uh, and I respect. I honestly thought the Pirates could win the World Series, but yeah, Gary has been way too three two. That's crazy. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. Come back. Please stay with us here on Roommate Robert on WICR.